there's a cockroach in there. You're filming me, I'm filming you. <laughs> so better go check on that cockroach and... Good morning. Um, can lightning strike twice? I wonder about that. Uh, well, actually it did last night because on last night's patrol, we got to see two turtles again on the beach. Uh, the first one, um, I was out at the 11 o'clock um, shift and we, when we went out to uh, Laguna Perla, on the way back we intercepted the group before us and they had found a turtle and it was in the process of laying eggs and we talked to them, we observed for a bit, collected a few eggs. Now, it was a few. Um, they, we think that the, the turtle itself was uh, very old and the eggs itself was not white spherical turtle eggs that you see. Um, these ones were very odd shaped and very mucusy, slimy, so we don't think they're viable eggs. Um, must have just been something wrong with the fertilization process. Um, but nevertheless, we got to see a turtle again that night. So that's turtle number four for me, baby. Uh, if you're keeping score. We joined with that group and then on our way back home uh, shortly after Laguna, between Laguna 1 and 2, guess what? We saw another turtle. So that's number five, five. Count it, one, two, three, four, five. So um, yeah, and that one was actually a false crawl. So what it means is it entered uh, the beach from the ocean and slowly made its way onto land and you know sort of looked around the area didn't like it and decided to go back to the sea so away it goes um, but hey it's still a turtle sighting exciting to see um, we think it may have been one that uh, came on the beach at one time and then went back too so we don't know for sure but um, yeah that was exciting for everyone to uh, for at least the two groups got to see it fortunately the last group did not and the groups ahead of that but yeah this morning we'll be working on the hatchery again that's very important work what we're doing it is a lot of hard work a lot of shoveling wheelbarrowing buckets and later on we'll do some uh, recycle sorting that's what we're doing from the uh, garbage that we collected yesterday we're gonna sort that and take care of it so yeah that's uh, just all I have to update John and uh, we'll see how tonight's uh, patrol goes all right catch you later Hola, so here we are today. Uh, we are recycling the uh, trash, sorting it that uh, we collected from yesterday. Um, yeah, there's a lot of it. We're gonna sort between bottles, caps, plastics, metals, whatever. Um, some of it's gonna get shipped to San Jose and then uh, take care of it from there. So always remember the three R's, reduce, recycle, and reuse whenever possible. That way it'll help the environment and it'll make our planet a better place to live. So last night I got to see my six turtles, so count them six. Um, sadly though, the, uh, when we got there, we thought it was our turtle. We thought we'd be collecting the eggs and you know, putting in the hatchery, but unfortunately uh, when we got there, uh, the turtle made itself to land and then we discovered that there was a shadowy figure sitting on a log. Now who sits on a log at uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, right? I was on the early crew um, so I started at 8 we got all the way down to Perla Lagoon and then at that point discovered uh, that there's a poacher just waiting to collect the eggs from this poor little sea turtle um, but uh, our, our local guide Davey he did talk to him for a bit and just find out what the scoop is if he's gonna leave or if we can have the eggs or whatever but uh, in the end uh, we just decided to leave it wasn't worth our while the eggs are gone anyways so, yeah, at that point, yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, but good news is that later on we heard that the, the turtle itself made a false crawl. So it didn't lay any eggs. It just tried to find a spot, but just went back to sea. So, hey, that's karma for you. 
I'm thinking it probably smelt the poacher and said, hey, you know, I don't want to lay any eggs for you, so get out of here, right? But on good news too, uh, is that the last group, the midnight group, did find a sea turtle and they collected the eggs there. So that did work out. Um, uh, that was with uh, Katie and Tasha, so that's awesome. They got to see the whole process from start to finish and it's uh, another two turtles uh, on one night. Can you imagine that? Uh, otherwise, today, um, I think uh, today's Saturday, uh, it'll be easy. Uh, we're doing uh, hatchery work, digging it up, filling it out, um, and then, um, then the rest of the day is just a free day. Also, forgot to mention that this uh, spot here is the very same spot where the boat first dropped us off on day number one. So as you can see, I'm not going in for a swim. Um, water is not the greatest here, <laughs> at least this spot. So. But this is where the uh, boat launch was and yeah, brings back memories. And sadly this is where people also leave us when they go. But uh, we did welcome Jed from France and she's with our crew now. We're all working hard. That's, that's the main thing. Working hard for the sea turtles. I didn't see you there. So in today's episode, we are on the trail of special mammals called sea turtle volunteers. They are always patrolling these beaches at the same time every night, starting at 8 p.m., going as late as midnight until 4 a.m. Don't they ever sleep? Their migration patterns are very peculiar. When it is very, very dark, they ride in single file to hide their numbers like Tuscan Raiders. Sometimes three to five volunteers each patrol. Why do they walk in such darkness? These volunteers, they often stumble and trip. It is so hilarious to watch. What a bunch of buffoons, silly primates. Some male volunteers wear a ridiculous man bun on their head. What do you call that, fashion statement? And you should also watch them itch like crazy. Yeah, the bugs out here just eat them alive at nighttime. Have they ever heard of insect repellent? They also have to walk in the rain. Who does that? If they want to get wet, go jump in the ocean. It's right there. Experts say these volunteers are trying to find an endangered species of sea turtles that only come out at night to these very beaches of Costa Rica. The sea turtles will build a nest and lay eggs here. But the volunteers, they use up their energy to, to dig up the eggs and move it to a secret location. It's so ridiculous to go through so much trouble. And they also have the red light that emits from their forehead. So I wonder, are they cyborgs from the future? And they're here to warn us about what will happen to these endangered sea turtles? Well, I guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out on our next episode.